Welcome to today's vlog everyone. Um, I'm going to cut to the chase and I've done something really wrong um, and it's really silly what I've done. So today's vlog is not going to be particularly long. Before I go in and show you where, where I've got up to, um, I just wanted to explain what's gone wrong basically. Um, so a lot of you have probably seen this coming for a few weeks or months. Um, and I've had a lot of warnings about it and I have kind of brushed those off and all of a sudden things have kind of come to a head. Basically. I've been doing a lot of work. I've been feeling it a little bit with my back. And during the the February half term holidays, Charles wanted to do a bit of bowling. So I went bowling with him. Um, then I got in the pool when it was very cold. Um, I started feeling my back a bit more. And I did the tiling with the heavy tiles that are kind of stretching me to, to kind of, stretching the weight away from my back as I'm, um, as I'm working with them and basically I'm really annoyed at myself for doing this but the other, the other night a couple of nights ago um, I was giving the dogs their food and they needed some more water and we have a big bucket one of our flower buckets full of water because such big dogs I filled it up and instead of bending with my knees or filling it halfway up I filled it to the top and bent with my back and threw my back out um, it's really annoying because it's going to stop me on this project for a few days longer. Um, I'd almost made it to going to see the um, going to see the osteopath, um, but no, I've uh, I've injured my back and yeah, it's not very good. It's very painful. Uh, I managed to get in and have some acupuncture the next day, but I think it was a bit too close to the actual injury to have full effect and it's taken a few days for it to kind of work um, and so like I say about I think we're about 48 72 hours after the injury things are settling down a bit now and luckily I still have that osteopath appointment in a couple of days time so let's go in and see what I've managed to get done um, before I stop for a few days and recuperate So here you can see all the cuts are done. And no more of those nasty brown 1980s tiles. And then I've moved on to the main part of the kitchen. I've got something like 16 tiles down. Here I have a little bit of a problem because of the door. Uh, I'll show you in a second, but uh, but yeah, you can still see those nasty tiles I was talking about. So let me show you how I'm gonna get around that. So you can see, here's the problem. I had to put the end of our tiles slightly back from the end of the original tiles. And so you can see them. That I really don't like. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a wooden what the French call baguette, like a little strip of wood, and just stick that on there and blend it in with the floor as best possible. So there we are, that's where I'm up to. 
Like I said, um, it's gonna, all the work's gonna stop for the next few days. And then I'm just gonna take things very slowly, start of next week. So thanks for watching this short vlog, uh, just explaining what happened to me over the last couple of days. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, at least you got to see uh, how far we've advanced. Um, one thing whilst I'm talking on this angle, you can spot that there's something missing off the top of that pillar. But if you look down the bottom of the pillar, there is a piece of stone there with a, sl a small piece of metal on it. That is the uh, piece of stone that's missing off the top. Somebody was asking in comments uh, what's happened to it. Well, it, it must have fallen off in a storm. Uh, I actually have the rest of the kind of metal vase, would you call it? Um, and um, I'm going to weld that back on and put it back on the top of their pillar when we come to renovate the pillars. One last question that I was going to answer regarding the tiling. There's little black spacers and wedge holders. Um, a lot of people said, oh, what happens to those when you finish with them? Um, you can't have a piece of plastic stuck up through the tile like that. Well, no, as soon as um, the, the adhesive is dry, we just uh, use the little machine that we use to, to tighten the wedges up and it breaks like it did on me um, when I was putting that tile down uh, on the last vlog. And basically they break at the base of the tile so you can get your grout in and you don't see any of the plastic. So the plastic actually just stays there and the piece that pokes up just pops off. So here's the product I was talking about. You remember it from last vlog and possibly seen them today. Um, so yeah, you put your wedge in, in there and the tile sits where my fingers are. But if you look closely towards the bottom, the plastic, is, oh, let me get in focus for you. The plastic gets very thin towards the bottom, which means that when you're ready to snap it, it snaps off right at the bottom there. But if you're gentle with it, as I was with most of the tiles, apart from the one I showed you on the other vlog, um, they don't snap. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. That's how that works.